Hey, it's Carrie. This video is for viewers age 13 plus. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm talking about animal reproduction today. Elephant. They are able to assess the reproductive status of one another by using their keen sense of smell. Hormones are also sniffed directly from urine and feces. There is a courtship process and then mating occurs briefly from a few hours to four days. Males usually stay with a female after mating to prevent her from mating with other males. Whale shark. They have internal fertilization and produce live young. Males can be distinguished by the presence of two claspers near the pelvic fin. These organs are absent in females. Frill neck lizard. Breeding begins at the start of the wet season. Males are very territorial and aggressive towards other males during this time. Sometimes they court the females by performing an elaborate dance. If a female is interested, she bobs her head. Fertilization is internal. The female lays between 8 and 14 eggs in a nest 10 to 20 centimeters deep in the ground, usually after the rain. Blue coral snake. Not much is known about the breeding habits of this species. It produces one to three eggs that measure approximately nine millimeters by 35 millimeters. The potent venom can cause human death. This species has unusually long venom glands extending to 25% of the length of the body. Rhinoceros Males and females spray urine to advertise reproductive receptivity. Copulation can last for half an hour or more. Both males and females will mate with more than one individual. American Black Bear Black bears are promiscuous, males and females often mating with several different individuals. This happens during June and July. Implantation of the fertilized egg is delayed and this occurs in November or December. Blue whale. The male and female spend time rolling around each other then they take a deep dive into the ocean. Suddenly they fly upwards and cross the surface and as they do, the male thrusts the penis into the vulva and ejaculates. Here's the calf. The calf is born tail first after a 12 month pregnancy, measuring about four meters in length. Arctic Fox. They are monogamous and usually mate for life. The male parent stays with the cubs helping to feed and look after them. He mates with the female a few weeks after the first litter is born. Spiny Lobster. They use external fertilization for reproduction. Their reproductive glands are found on the 6th thoracic segment of females and on the 8th thoracic segment of males. During mating, the males pass a thick spermatophore to the females known as a tar spot that fertilizes their eggs. Blue Crab When a male and female crab mate, many female decapod crabs can store the male sperm until her eggs are ready to be released. And here's Sally Lightfoot Crab. When the eggs are released, the stored sperm 
flows over them and they become fertilized. Sea star. Fertilization occurs in the water with males and females releasing sperm and eggs into the environment. Black panther. A female will signify her sexual availability by the scent of her urine and by caterwauling. Oh yeah, some people think sounds like the scream of a human female and which gives the panther the name screamer. They are induced ovulators, which means the stimulus of copulation triggers the release of the egg by the ovary. Cuttlefish, they are gonochoristic. They reproduce sexually through external fertilization. They line up head to head and the male transfers spermatophores by means of the hectocotylus. The male is able to wash away any sperm from a previous male mating. Salmon, the female initiates spawning by digging a shallow nest for the eggs in the gravel. Side by side, they release their eggs and sperm into the water. Groundhog, they must mate immediately after hibernation ends. There's a short courtship and mating takes place and then the male often moves on to the next female. Goblin shark, they mate for your internal fertilization and give life birth to a small number of relatively large young. Though they give life birth, these sharks do not connect to their young through a placenta. Instead, during the gestation period, the mother likely provides her young with unfertilized eggs that they actively eat for nourishment. After they are born, young goblin sharks are ready to be active predators. Zebra. Females in estrus will stand with their hind legs spread and raise their tails when in the presence of a male. Lion. The mating pair will mate every 20 minutes for four days and nights with each copulation lasting about one minute. Copulation with tigers can be as short as 10 seconds and as long as 13 minutes. The male seizes the nape of the female's neck and mounts from behind. There's a lot of fertilization from both the male and female during mating. Orca or killer whale. Orcas are polygenandrous, meaning both males and females have multiple mates throughout a season or a lifetime. Orcas can reproduce whenever females enter estrus, which can occur multiple times a year. However, most breeding happens in the summer, and orcas are typically born in the fall. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.